Welcome horror lovers, today we discuss the movie Followers from 2024, directed by James Rich and available for streaming on Screenbox. A horror story of survival and of a sinister deep web cult. Beware, horror lies ahead. The film unfolds with a car meandering along a desolate road, as three close companions, Sam, Riley, and Heather, set off on a hiking adventure, venturing into the heart of obscurity where their ominous odyssey begins. Amidst the desolation, Sam's eyes catch the unsettling gaze of a mysterious figure watching them intently. Cut to a scene within the forest's eerie silence, where a ranger stumbles upon an abandoned vehicle. His discovery of a crossbow in the trunk raises alarm, he queries his superior about the legality of crossbow hunting this season. Intrigued by a forsaken computer nestled in a tree stump, his attention to the screen is abruptly cut short as a crossbow bolt pierces his back. Stricken with terror, he attempts a futile escape, only to be overtaken by the merciless assailant. The trio, in search of respite, comes upon a desolate lake bed, its eerie stillness broken only by the ominous presence of the same shadowy figure, intensifying the sense of foreboding that envelops them. Oh my god. No. Disaster strikes when Riley inadvertently ruins their phone charger means of communication, plunging them further into isolation amidst the unforgiving wilderness. As night's shadow engulfs the forest, the group establishes their encampment, revealing Heather's life as an influencer, her digital realm unaware of the encroaching darkness. In the dead of night, the spectral figure advances, fixating on the slumbering Sam with a predatory gaze, unbeknownst to the ensnared campers. Venturing into the night to take a leak, Riley becomes the prey of a chilling encounter as the phantom assailant seizes her, stifling her cries with a sinister grasp, and drags her into the darkness of the forest. Bound to a chair under the cold gaze of the moon, Riley faces her captor as he unveils his ghastly visage, proclaiming himself the harbinger of nightmares, the big bad wolf, behind the mask. Riley? Riley! The morning light reveals Riley's disappearance catapulting Sam and Heather into a frantic search through the whispering woods, their hearts racing against the ticking clock Riley! of impending doom. Sam finds a creepy Barbie doll hanging in a tree, and Heather receives a text from Riley asking for help while restrained to a chair with her mouth tapped shut. Heather's blood runs cold as she utters, he has her, before starting to run, only to be ensnared by the merciless jaws of a bear trap, her screams echoing through the cursed forest. Sam, driven by a relentless resolve, vows to unearth Riley's whereabouts, promising a return for Heather. Guided by a trail of distorted dolls, a grim breadcrumb path, Sam uncovers Riley's grim reality, trapped in the sinister spectacle of a live deep web feed, their torment broadcasted to unseen eyes. The shadowy predator emerges, crossbow in hand, and strikes, wounding Sam's leg. Yet, in the depths of despair, she retaliates with blinding fury, turning the hunter's tools against him. The duo's desperate journey back to Heather reveals a gruesome sight, her leg is broken with the bone exposed and gushing a lot of blood, however they stop the bleeding with a makeshift tourniquet. Fate delivers a glimmer of hope in the form of a ranger's truck, only for it to be extinguished in a heartbeat as the ranger falls victim to a ruthless bolt. The assailant, battered yet unyielding, brandishes a sledgehammer, intent on their end. But Sam, embracing the heart of darkness, rests control, delivering a crushing blow that silences the menace forever. Safety embraces the trio at last, their bond forged in the crucible of horror. Then we see Heather talking on an Instagram live to her followers saying that her leg is getting better now carries a haunting tale of survival, while we hear suspicious heavy breathing from the person holding the phone. Fifteen months later, a harrowing documentary capturing their ordeal was crafted, during which Riley informs Sam of its impending broadcast. Traumatized Sam, engulfed in the shadows of her past, hesitantly activates her streaming service to watch Hunted the documentary spotlighting their nightmarish saga. Beside her, boyfriend Todd shares in the viewing, where Heather's ominous caution about the perils of online visibility sends shivers down their spines. As haunting memories resurface, Sam, drenched in sweat and enveloped by anxiety, succumbs to an asthma attack, barely subdued by her inhaler. The documentary's conclusion brings a call from Heather, extending an invite to Sam and Todd for a New Year's Eve soiree at Gareth's family abode, a proposal Sam greets with apprehension, her psyche still scarred by the ghostly echoes of their past, evidenced by the baseball bat lying ominously near her doorway. Todd, sensing her turmoil, gently persuades her that rejoining their circle might mend her fractured spirit. Yielding, they journey to the grandiose mansion, where Sam's reunites with Riley, and introduces her to Riley's companion, Leah. 
Yet, amidst the warmth of long-lasting friendships, Sam's heart is ensnared by unease, tears streaming down her face as an unseen voyeur captures the reunion. From the woods gloom, a figure adorned with that haunting mask peers at the mansion, his breaths heavy with sinister intent. On the balcony, Todd's encounter with Leah leads to an unexpected counsel on his tense aura, she tells him that he has a very dense energy and suggests the tranquil art of yoga. Later, Leah voices her fears to Heather that their documentary might unwittingly inspire other fiends from the shadows, though Heather stands firm, believing their story casts light and inspiration rather than darkness and harm. The caretaker encounters a van ominously stationed on the property. As he confronts the driver, three masked assailants emerge, and one brutally ends the caretaker's life with a shotgun blast, the horrific act broadcast live by the driver's phone. As dusk cloaks the sky, the friends reunite over dinner. Heather raises a glass to their survival and reveals plans for a film based on their ordeal, seeking Sam and Riley's consent. Sam is taken aback by the movie proposal but the dinner proceeds, even as the masked wolf pack films them from the shadows, their disdain for women fueling their cult-like solidarity. The group sabotages the vehicles and ascends to the upper floors with ladders in a sinister preparation. The debate over the film's potential influence is cut short when Leah, seeking the lighter, falls prey to a chilling ambush. Her last breaths are stolen by a plastic bag, her demise coldly shared on the dark web. The house invasion escalates as Riley is shot unsuspectingly. Heather, Todd, and Gareth are seized, while Sam remains hidden. It's like meeting a celebrity. One captor eerily addresses Heather, likening her to a celebrity in their twisted game. What do you want from us? Gareth's plea for mercy is met with a macabre proposition. Heather's life for their freedom, but the wolf coldly places a gun on the table. In a moment of dreadful tension, Gareth aims the gun at Heather. What? But the trigger <laughs> click reveals an empty chamber. The wolf delivers a fatal blow to Gareth, his demise gruesomely marked by Heather's bloodstained visage. Heather, now bound and helpless, becomes the centerpiece of a macabre show for the deep web's ravenous eyes. Sam, resourceful in the face of terror, grabs an iPad to call for help, only to be met by the reflection of a wolf aiming a crossbow at her. With swift action, she deflects the deadly bolt with the device and then proceeds to knock off the ladder with the wolf on top of it sustaining a major fall. As the ghastly livestream unfolds, Wolfie gleefully introduces Heather, their prized survivor, to their online abyss, revealing a twisted pole that dictates the method of her demise. The majority's morbid choice? A baseball bat to the head. Yet, as fate would have it, Sam intervenes with a gunshot from Gareth's rifle, halting Wolfie's swing midair. Confronted by another wolf, Sam is lauded as an infamous figure within their dark community. The tension escalates when Todd, smeared in deceitful blood, betrays Sam teasing her and taking away the rifle from her grip. The only person she trusts turns out to be one of them. The sinister lineage of the wolf pack is unveiled, tracing back to Dylan Loberty, a figure whose defeat by Sam has only fueled their misogynistic crusade, a brotherhood of shadows lurking in the digital underworld. As the wounded wolf regains his footing, he's met with a looming presence of police patrols nearing the residence. Amidst the chaos, Todd's betrayal deepens as he pins Sam down, echoing the wolf's sentiments that her actions inadvertently propelled their sinister cause into a movement, idolizing their fallen leader Dylan as a martyr. The nefarious plot unravels further as Todd reveals his deceitful long con, his law school journey, a mere facade to win Sam's heart and infiltrate her inner circle, all to orchestrate this grim reunion. Their twisted intention comes to light, they aim to deliver a gruesome spectacle for their ravenous audience, mirroring the fate they wished upon their leader Dylan. As Todd raises the sledgehammer, the imminent arrival of law enforcement halts his grim intent. In a desperate bid to mask their crimes, the other wolf feigns innocence, spinning a tale of misunderstanding to the officers. That his girlfriend is on medications and mentally ill so that's why the 911 call was made. While the wolf talks to the police, Riley who is still alive, resilient and defiant, seizes an opportunity to strike, she grabs a knife and stealthy takes out one of the kidnappers taking a shotgun. Mike, she then unloads at a Todd hitting him right between the eyes, the officers hear the shot and get on alert. Sam and Heather rush to aid the grievously wounded Riley, their minds set on a desperate escape. They flee through the back of the house, only to confront the chilling sight of the van driving wolf, his phone out, documenting their terror. Amidst this eerie tableau, the other wolf takes aim with his rifle, mercilessly striking them down in cold blood. The van wolf speeds away, leaving chaos in his wake as police encircle the house. Inside, the remaining wolf sits calmly in the kitchen, 
a stark contrast to the turmoil outside. As officers breach the threshold, he's detained. His reign of terror concluded with the closing scene of the film. Exploring themes of trauma, survival, and the dark facets of internet culture, the film delves into the psychological aftermath of the friend's heroine ordeal, with a particular focus on Sam's battle with PTSD. The narrative is enriched by the presence of an internet-based cult, introducing timely social commentary that highlights the perils of online radicalization and misogyny. Despite certain limitations in the acting sphere, Gigi James's compelling portrayal of Sam shines brightly, offering an authentic look into the resilience of a survivor and significantly enhancing the film's resonance. Operating within the confines of a modest budget, followers skillfully navigate suspense and suggested violence, steering clear of the pitfalls associated with poor special effects, though it does feature a few scenes with notably unconvincing CGI. While the film's dialogue and social critique may sometimes miss the mark, they play a crucial role in the overall storyline prompting viewers to ponder the intricate relationship between reality and digital personas. Followers is currently available for streaming on Screenbox. We invite you to share your insights in the comments section. For further deep dives into the eerie world of horror cinema, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Until our next spine-chilling journey, watch out and take care.